Hey guys, it's Friday. Um, I'll just start right off with the weigh-in. It was 171.4. Um, so I did gain most of it back this week. Um, and I'm really not, I mean, I'm obviously not happy about it, but I'm really not that upset about it because I know that I didn't make the best choices as soon as my cleanse was over. I should have kept going with that and just eating lean and eating healthy. And instead I was like, no, let's go eat a bunch of calories at a restaurant. Um, so yeah, I could have easily made smarter decisions there. I'm not saying that all of that weight was gained from there. Um, you know, with bloating and period weight and whatever. I mean, I know that's all coming. So that's why I'm not going to stress about it. Um, I was really sore today for my workout yesterday. I did a cardio and a HIIT workout today. Um, so I'm just going to keep going. And even yesterday I didn't, didn't really vlog cause I only have vlogged in the morning and it was so short and quick that I just decided not to upload it. But I had done a weightlifting yesterday and then when I came home, I took diesel for a 20 minute walk slash jog. Um, I don't know what's going on with the light here. Um, just to kind of get an extra workout in and I had acorn squash last night with a salad, um, with some leftover chicken on that. So, I mean, I'm not making terrible decisions. I've, I've had a piece of Halloween candy here and there. Um, I'm not going to lie about that, but you know, and so that's why I guess I can't really be too mad because I only have myself to blame. Um, but I am going to hit it strong. And I, I was, you know, as I was watching my workout today, cause I do it in a mirror or, I mean, there's a mirror right there by me. Um, my stomach area, like right around my belly button, that area is really what is bothering me right now. I mean, I have, in my opinion, weight to lose everywhere, but that is the section that drives me crazy. And so I want to talk just really quick, um, about spot training or spot working out or, you know, any of that stuff, because I think most people know, or they've heard that you can't work just one area of your body. I have got to try and move this. I don't know what the heck's going on with the light, but it's driving me crazy. Um, that did not help at all, but you cannot work just one area of your body and think that it's going to just cure it, that it's going to, you know, like I could do a million sit-ups, you know, I'm just going to do a million sit-ups and then my stomach's going to go away. It's not. And I'm going to read up more on it because that is my goal for this week. Um, I want to try and kind of have a goal every week and that one is going to be to eat clean and see if I can shrink my stomach a little bit. I'm going to measure it and do all that. But like I said, I'm going to research a little bit more on clean eating. I know the basics of clean eating, but I want to really hone in on it. Um, but losing weight and getting fit and getting toned and getting tight, that's all a combination of workouts and diet and nutrition. You know, I can eat only sugary sweets, but stay in my calories and work out and I'm not going to have the same body. And I said this before, as if I was eating salads and chicken and fish and vegetables and working out. You're going to get a lot faster results. You're going to get a lot better results. You're going to feel better. You're not going to feel sluggish. Um, you just have to feed your body with the right nutrition. And I can do a million sit-ups, but it's not going to do anything if I'm still putting fat into my body, the bad fat. So that's what I'm going to work on. Um, you know, and some people say, well, then why, why would you even do sit-ups? Because when you do lose that fat, then that muscle is there to show through. Whereas if you don't do sit-ups, you don't, and I'm not saying sit-ups, um, just any ab or core workout. If you don't do those, you don't tighten them, you don't work out, you're not going to have, when you're losing the fat, the right shape to your body. You're just going to have, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. You want to have muscle under there. That's what's holding it together. That's what's keeping it tight, what's keeping it nice looking. And I'm starting to get ab definition in my upper abs, but it's my lower abs um, that I always felt was the strongest. And I do believe that there's strong muscles under there, but there's a lot of fat there too. Um... So yeah, I'm, I'm doing my Shakeology for breakfast this morning. I got to hurry up and get going on that. I was going to go to the grocery store beforehand. And then I thought, why would I rush? Like, I don't need anything right now. I'll just go this weekend and deal with the crowds. It'll be fine. So I think today will be a good day. It's cloudy again, but that's okay. Um, it's Friday and I've got, I do have a fun lunch planned with some people at work. So I'm not going to worry about today. I'm not going to um, stress about it. I'm not going to freak out. I'm going to rearrange how I, and I started yesterday, how I track my stuff. I'm writing times to make sure that I'm eating every two to three hours. 
to make sure I'm eating the right number of calories. Um, I'm just going to really get strict and pinpoint on it. But this weekend, I'm going to take the time to get some new recipes, get some um, advice, some research going, um, like I said, on that clean eating and getting getting it back on track, getting it right. Um, you know, not not just doing this fast, easy stuff. And like my breakfasts have always been fine and my lunch has always been fine. It's my suppers. And I've known that from the very beginning that are screwball-y. And last night, um, Travis was joking. He wasn't doing it in a mean way, but he said something about my stomach. And I said, I know. I said, that's the one area that's driving me crazy because it's not, you know, when I do my measurements, it's the one that's moving the slowest now. And I said, I want it to be moving the fastest. And I said, but I know that that's eating. And, you know, he's like, what do you mean? You're, you've been eating, you know, whatever. And I said, because I'm still eating crap at night. I'm not, we're not eating chicken. We're not eating fish. And he was like, well, I don't want to eat all that stuff all the time because he's a very meat and potatoes man. And I said, you don't have to. But I said, I feel like I have to eat what you're eating. And so, I mean, we kind of talked about that a little bit and worked that out, I think, a little bit better, at least to see how maybe like a week goes. Um, so, yeah, and I can incorporate some recipes in for him, too, which he'll be fine with. So you guys have a good day. I probably won't upload any more so I'm probably going to do this one along with the one I didn't get uploaded yesterday because my computer was being weird um but yeah I gotta get going so that I am still on time because like I said I did really good this week and I will see you guys later have a good Friday um have a good weekend if I don't vlog ahead of time but if I start getting really good information I might be sharing it I just might so I'll see you guys later